What's up all you Kingdom Hearts playing dudes and dudettes, Toysh is here and I got some really rocking fresh looks for you today. Diamond Select was really nice. They went ahead and sent over three of their brand new Kingdom Hearts action figure sets featuring Goofy and Tron, Mickey the Assassin and Shadow, and then of course Sora and Sark. Now, I am a huge Tron Uprising fan. Good. I liked Legacy. Didn't really care too much for the original Tron. It's cool, it's got great graphics and stuff, very old school, but yeah, I actually prefer Uprising. I think that's a fantastic show. I, it's If you haven't seen it, please check it out. It's amazing. Good. But we're gonna open these up, check them out, see how they go as far as action figure wise. These are the brand new Diamond Select Kingdom Hearts action figures. And while I got you guys here, I just want to say thanks so much for saving the grid. If you like the video, hit the like button. Also, be sure to leave a comment. Let's talk some Tron. And make sure to subscribe because I got a heck of a lot more Diamond Select toys on the way. Attention all users, these are the figures out of the packaging and they actually look pretty fantastic. A lot of great colors, a lot of great choices in terms of design. Very interesting, very video game designs. I know that the Tron versions, like the four over here on this side, primarily come from Kingdom Hearts 2 because I did play, I only played the first two Kingdom Hearts game and then I got that card game on the DS and that's when I was like, all right, I'm done with Kingdom Hearts. I, they, they totally took me for a loop on that one. It seems like, you know, this set right here could coincide with the very first Kingdom Hearts, second, you know, anytime Mickey's wearing that trench coat, this, <laughs> we'll do Mickey first. Just because it's it's very interesting, it's to see Mickey Mouse in a black trench coat. That was very cool back in the day, and I remember the old video game magazines going like, "This has got to be a joke, right? This is this is insane. How can Kingdom Hearts or how can Final Fantasy team up with Disney?" The, it was mind blowing at the time. He has this interesting tail right here. I, when I was cutting all the plastic to get him out of the packaging, I almost cut this, thinking it was a holder in place so just fyi this is his tail he has a ball joint head a little bit stiff looks up about that much looks down about that much shoulder rotation arms go up and around he does have articulation at the wrist doesn't no nothing at the the waist or anything like that he does have some some legs that can kick out it is going to be hindered by his trench coat and then they rotate as well so not a ton of articulation i think it's the good enough articulation for a mickey mouse and a small character such as this so that's pretty cool one thing i would have liked to have seen was a weapon that would have been really nice here is one of the heartless characters this is the shadow and he's just basically one solid piece except for the fact that his head does rotate so you get a little bit of articulation but arms legs they're all stagnant i really like the clear purple that this thing is modeled and the yellow is applied really nicely so i think that's a good representation of these heartless characters so i give it to him on that i like that little guy actually <laughs> quite a bit the assassin now just design wise this thing is actually terrifying like it's got no face it's very, very Japanese, very Final Fantasy looking. So he's got lots of sharp, jagged edges and everything, but the color is nice. Very cool, reflective silver, purple. Interesting to say the least. Like I said, very terrifying, but very video game. It almost looks, reminds me of something out of Silent Hill or something like that. Design is all etched in place right there. It's a fantastic sculpt. It just gets a little hindered because of the character design. It's a little wonky just in terms of what moves and such. It moves at the shoulder, moves at its, you know, I guess you could say elbow, nothing at the wrist. It does rotate at the waist and does have a diaphragm, so that's that's cool. The head is on a ball joint. That moves as well. Kicks up about that much. Doesn't have anything here, no. And then it does have some ankle pivot and you know they move up and down like that so again nice interesting design very very cool to see this in plastic form honestly i'm getting to the tron figures i think that's where these uh figures are definitely definitely shining now we got goofy you can't go wrong with goofy and honestly i think they nailed the face sculpt on this this is great there's a couple hiccups in the gray the mo the more muted tron type of gray that they have going on but i think the blue and everything 
it's, there's a couple hiccups in paint just here and there, but honestly, this is actually a pretty well sculpted figure. I got to give it to him on that. I think it's actually pretty cool. For having a Goofy on your shelf, this is the Goofy that I would probably display. You know what I mean? Like, he's in his Tron outfit and everything else. As far as articulation goes, his head is on a joint, and it actually rotates, looks around. Looks pretty good. Get some nice motion out of that. Shoulder rotation. Rotation at the elbow, and then rotation at the wrist. And then nothing at the waist. He kicks up about that much, kicks back, and then he actually kicks out to the side, and then he has some ankle pivot and rotation at the feet. Would have been really nice to have some weapons to go with this guy. Actually, we'll talk about that in just a second. Now, in terms of Sora, you know Sora, he's the guy that's got the Keyblade. You know Kingdom Hearts in any way, shape, or form, but he's actually a really cool character, and I like this version, again, much like, you know, I'm not a big fan of putting these types of Kingdom Hearts characters, but if it has to do with Tron, I think that's the saving grace for me. Very nice, intricate, sculpted details all over this figure. That is amazing. Look at the head. Eyes are applied nicely. I like this muted gray like we saw in Goofy. As far as the articulation goes, his head is on a ball joint, and he looks you know, up, down, left, right, so that gets some good range of motion. He does have a waist swivel. At his shoulder pads, these rotate with the arms right there. And then you can do a little bit of a, I guess you'd say bicep, but it's more of an upper arm swivel. Rotation at the elbow, and then he does have rotation at the wrist as well. Kicks up about that much, kicks out about that much with that little side joint, T-joint. And then he does have boot swivel, everything else. I like these giant clod hopper feet. That's very cool. Now, he is the only figure in all of these packages to come with an accessory, and I swear they better have given him the Keyblade. I mean, come on, this is a no-brainer right here. A couple mishaps of paint every which way, but for the most part, it's actually pretty nice, and it's designed well, so I got to give it to him on that. Really recreates the whole Keyblade that Sora has, and there you go. He does hold it quite well, and it's a bit of a heavier weapon, but the joints are actually pretty solid on this guy, so... He does sport it well, and I think, you know, for a character like Sora, and the main thing that he carries is Keyblade, I think that's great that they gave it to him, and I'm really happy they did. I just wish a Goofy or Mickey or any of the other characters had more weapons. Let's get into the Tron. Now, for me, the highlight of these figure sets are definitely the Tron and the villain Sark figure. Now, while I'm not a huge fan of the actual Tron movie, I do enjoy the look and the aesthetics. Plus, it has everything to do with video games, computer games, so that is rocking. I like the design, the reds, the blues, these things pop, and I absolutely adore them. I think they did a fantastic job. We'll go ahead and look at Sark first. He's basically all red and gray. It, the circuitry details on this figure is fantastic. And you know what? They're all pretty much applied perfectly. Very, very few minimal little minor brush strokes that have missed the mark here and there. But, I mean, this guy is covered in circuitry and details that emulate the movie fantastically. Love the head sculpt on him. Just take it all in. This is... This is a great, I love the shoulder pads. For articulation, he does have rotation at the head. Not much because his entire head is basically kind of like this helmeted structure. He does have rotation at the shoulders, up, down, left, right. You get that all going. Nothing at the bicep. He looks to have swivel at the elbow, and then he has a single elbow, but it only goes up so much because he has these giant gauntlets on, and then he also has rotation at the wrist. Again, it's going to be kind of hindered in that sense just because of the gauntlets. They'll meet the wrist right there. But you know what? He doesn't have any weapons, unfortunately, to go with him. So that is a bit of a bummer. He's going to kick to the side like that. He's going to kick up about that much. He does have double jointed knees, so that's really cool. And he also has ankle pivot. In that sense, you got good articulation overall for this figure. But then again, there are some certain Tron-specific weapons that I would have loved for Sark to have come with. Now let's get into Tron. This is probably my favorite figure of the bunch. Now with Tron, got the same thing Sark's going on, but look at all the circuitry on this thing. That is awesome. 
Got to give it to you on that one, Diamond Select. You guys applied these things beautifully. I love the back, man. That is so cool. Look at that helmet. Yeah, that's that's well done. The face sculpt is well done. Everything just melds perfectly. I think this is great. As far as the head articulation, you know, it's on a ball joint, so it goes every which way. Shoulders go up, rotate. He has a rotation at the bicep, single jointed, much like Sark. It's going to meet it right at the elbow right there, so you can't get it up too far. And then he has rotation at the wrist, and again, it's going to be hindered a little bit by that part of the gauntlet. Nothing at the waist. He will kick out about that much, which you can get those high kicks going. Kicks up, kicks back. It pretty much goes to the side. And then he has double jointed knees as well with ankle pivot now, as far as weapons i can't believe they didn't do this i can't what a missed opportunity man why doesn't his disc remove why couldn't this be a separate piece and then you got tron holding his disc man that that bums me out that totally bums me out how could they not do that it doesn't kill it for me for the figure but that's a complete missed opportunity you could have had these guys dueling and all that kind of stuff that's yeah, so that's going to be my fresh look at the brand new Diamond Select Kingdom Hearts action figure sets. Let's be quite honest, I'm not a big fan of this initial, let's say, three pack right here. It's so-so. I like the little heartless guy. I could go either way on the assassin and Mickey, you know, it, I think if, a little bit more accessory, something like that to give a little more context. I think that would have been great, but overall, I really can't recommend them, so let's pop these guys out as far as goofy and tron i think they are the highlight of the pack actually i love the design on goofy and i love the tron figure in terms of sora and sark another great pack i actually like sora a lot i love the sark figure but it's it's one of those things where i could go without sora i would have liked to have seen more with the actual tron now i know that these are not Tron figures these are supposed to be Kingdom Hearts but I think it's a little bit more in terms of accessories or hitting more like the the Tron aspect of it being that they're on their Tron uniforms what do you guys think about this fresh look any of these figures hitting your fancy comment below let me know let's talk some toys these are hitting stores now and thanks again to Diamond Select for sending these over to me to give you guys a fresh look. I really appreciate it. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, if you're playing Space Paranoids, don't get sucked into the computer because you might go on an adventure in pure 80s digital 3D. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Keep laid out. <laughs>